The tobacco stripping wheel is a simple machine which uses a concept that's been around for many years. It has the potential to greatly reduce the production costs of most producers of stock cured tobacco. Using a wheel typically results in 30 to 50 percent increased productivity from a given crew. Many producers are reporting savings of three to six cents per pound. Just a lot of things save. You know, if I save one person per day, I've saved at five dollars an hour. I've saved forty dollars, and, and as you and I spoke earlier, well, we, you know, in the course of a week, that's two hundred dollars. Many acres as I've got, that's pretty good savings because we'll probably strip three months out of the year, maybe even four months. I probably got about eight hundred dollars, maybe seven fifty, eight hundred dollars in this one, plus a little labor. I've got two drive motors on this one where the others have just got one, but it's a bigger one. And so I probably got about $1,000 in it, and I felt like I've done paid for it just stripping my bird. I think I paid for the wheel uh, basically in three or four or five days. The wheel also promotes stripping into three grades, which could be very helpful maintaining and improving the integrity of U.S. grown burley tobacco. Stripping wheels are being used in about half of the counties in Kentucky, and interest is also increasing in Tennessee and West Virginia. It's also been reported that several machines are in use in southern Indiana. Leaders of the Burley community indicate the stripping wheel will follow the route of baling in grower acceptance and its use will become commonplace. Producers in dark tobacco areas are also finding the wheel beneficial. Many growers who raise both Burley and dark are realizing savings in the two types of tobacco. We had some folks starting to try the stripping ring on dark tobacco in addition to the Burley where we've had so much success with it this year. Not a lot of experience yet, but again, the thing that folks have to remember is a couple of cents a pound when you're looking at something you can build for $350 per unit or commercially buy for $850, $900 a unit. You don't have to save too many cents when you look at how many pounds you're handling over the course of the year to pay for it. And when labor saving is the name of the game, every little piece of new technology that might give you a little bit of an edge, don't think a penny or two a pound's not much money. Look at how many pounds you got and look at what that money would look like if you added it all up and put it on a table at the end of the year. The mechanism is the result of combined efforts of Kentucky and Tennessee tobacco producers and specialists in the agronomy and agricultural engineering departments at the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture. A construction guide is available from county extension offices in Kentucky and Tennessee for those who wish to build their own. The cost should be less than $500. And if you want to purchase a complete machine, there are several commercial suppliers. Prices vary from $600 to $1,000 depending on the manufacturer. The machine consists of an angle iron ring or wheel with stock holders spaced about 14 inches apart. The ring is supported on three lawnmower wheels attached to adjustable legs. Three other tires position the ring on the support wheels. The adjustable legs allow the wheel to be operated at an angle so that the leaves to be removed are at a convenient level. It is very important that each support and guide wheel be adjusted so they will turn freely. If the wheels are too tight, the maximum stripping speed will be reduced. The center arm should be adjusted to provide about a half an inch clearance between a guide wheel and the back side of the stripping ring when it's pulled snug against the other two guide wheels. A small AC-DC gear motor provides the power to rotate the wheel. The additional drive wheel is used to keep the weight of the ring off the gear motor shaft. Wheel speed is controlled with a variable speed motor controller. The rate can be varied from about 12 to 32 stalks per minute, but the majority of operators prefer a range of 18 to 25. Stripping wheel users report that it's better to start your crew at a slow speed and increase the pace as workers become accustomed to the new process. We've had some help. We strip some of the bike at night, and we've got some at night that still like the old style, stripping it on the table. We leave them stripping on the other end of the stripping room, and we strip down here. Uh, some of them don't like, one of them didn't like the wheel spinning, made her dizzy. So, big, I think the biggest thing is a lot of people are just not used to change. And sometimes change is good. If I could go directly to the barn, to the scaffold wagon, to the wheel, I could strip some tobacco pretty cheap per acre. And, uh, 
you know, we're going to try it some more. We're going to work with it. The biggest thing is getting, the, you know, I'm, I'm working some older people that are, uh, that have been doing this for some of them 50, 60 years, and this is the only method they know, and it's going to take some adjusting. I can use some people that are not quite as skilled with stripping with this wheel, that, whereas before uh, I couldn't. It's not everybody that can tie that head. And, uh, but when you can use two hands and something's holding the stalk for you, there's a lot of motion there. Stock holders are evenly spaced around the angle iron ring. A plywood insert is placed in the center to protect workers from injury. It's possible that a finger could get mashed between the back side of the ring and a guide wheel. The plywood also shields the motor from dust and dirt. The most efficient crew size will vary depending on the cure of the tobacco and the grading selected. Generally, a crew of five to seven works out best. The first worker removes the first grade of tobacco and places the stalk into a holder on the wheel. A large crew may require two workers in this position. The next worker or workers remove the next grade as the stalk passes in front of them. The worker in this position typically uses both hands to remove the leaves. The person who removes the last grade may decide to remove the stalk from the holder before removing the leaves if the end of the stalk is limp. The stalk is then discarded. Containers such as 30-gallon plastic barrels cut lengthwise should be used to hold stripped leaves until they can be placed into the appropriate bale box. Bale boxes should be placed conventionally close to the stripping wheel. I know that uh, the use of the stripping wheel can benefit a farmer, uh, as in my case, up to 30 percent, and uh, can save the most expensive part of uh, the labor uh, in tobacco, obviously, uh, all producers realize that the stripping cost is the most expensive uh, per pound cost that we have. Uh, the stripping wheel uh, may shave as much as a nickel a pound off of that cost. All that goes directly into farmers' profits. Several companies are manufacturing stripping wheels for sale. To find a manufacturer in your area, contact the local county extension agent for agriculture. Producers in areas outside Kentucky may obtain plans by contacting Larry D. Swetnam, 205 Agricultural Engineering Building, University of Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky. Funding for researching and developing the concept of the stripping wheel was provided by the Council for Burley Tobacco, the Burley Tobacco Growers Cooperative, and Philip Morris, USA. Why do you think something like this hasn't come along before now? I'm already going to just have to wait for you, Kate, to do it. <laughs>